Today, we are going to compare Lefsa. So I got three different kinds of Lefsa here. I have Lefsa here that is literally just a potato and nothing on it. I have just butter on it and then I have butter and sugar. So if we start with the stuff with nothing on it, honestly, we're just not even gonna try it because Lefsa with nothing on it probably tastes like what they used to eat during the Great Depression. So we can just go ahead and... Also, if you have an aunt that shows up with Lefsa with nothing on it, just rolled up potatoes, she deserves to sit at the kids' table during dinner. Butter versus butter and sugar. You're probably wondering, why on earth do you have toothpicks here in this lefsa? And the answer is, is because it's an absolutely genius way to tell which one has sugar on it and which one has butter on it. So feel free to use that tip this Thanksgiving. Just toss a toothpick in there and you know which one has sugar. All right, so we're just gonna do what we always do here at You Betcha, and we're just gonna get in. We're gonna try them both, and I'm gonna offer my knee-jerk reaction. First reaction is, this is what we would call a classic plain Jane. It just tastes like I'm eating cold mashed potatoes with some butter on it. I just don't have much to say other than it's like the plainest thing I've ever tasted. This is honestly like the broccoli of the potato industry. Plain Jane, don't even want to finish it. So now I'm gonna try the left so with sugar. We're gonna pick it up, as you can see. Toothpick life, spinning around. Already excited to eat this just, just because of the toothpick. Lefsa. I got sugar falling out. This is absolutely an electric factory. It is, I mean, this just tastes like Thanksgiving and it just tastes so versatile, so. You could have it for an appetizer. You could have it during your meal. You could have it as dessert. Black Friday morning when I get up early, I could throw a bunch of these in a bowl, pour some milk on it, and I got some cereal. Even though the just butter lefsa is so plain Jane, we have to bring it because there's always that one person that likes plain stuff. Um, and it's 2018 and we can't offend anyone, so we gotta bring both. You gotta bring it for your grandma and grandpa that have been eating nothing lefsa and butter lefsa since the Great Depression. If you wanna be the cool aunt and uncle with all the little kids running around, you make sure you put sugar on your lefsa because they take one taste of that and they're gonna think that you're the worst. This is probably what the sugar plate's gonna look like by the end of the day. This is what the butter plate's gonna look like. And uh, your aunt better have the uh, sugar ready to go so that people aren't gonna start unrolling these. It's gonna look like they're rolling doobies of sugar and butter on Lefsa. The minute that I show up to Thanksgiving with my fat pants on, my bushel of bush light, my decoy cooler, I'm gonna head right to the kitchen and I'm gonna identify where the sugar is. I'm gonna look for that toothpick and uh, I'm probably gonna mount one down right away. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.